Hi, welcome to my quick clay brush pack overview. Let me tell you about the features of brushes using a simple example. I will also show you new brushes from the latest update. Let's add simple sphere. Of course, the specifics of using brushes depend on the artist himself. Everything is very individual, but I will try to clearly highlight some of the nuances. Press validate button. Now let's increase the number of polygons. Make subdivide couple times. At least up to 300 polygons. This group of tools turns any geometry into clay. We can immediately set the color of the clay. Which one do we want? Well, let's leave it like this. Disable symmetry so it doesn't duplicate everything to the other side. And just apply it to our figure. If your tablet is quite powerful, you can increase the detail by adding more polygons using subdivide again. As you can see we are getting more details. You can also work with layers and adjust all parameters from color to depth even after application to the surface. We can mix surfaces, the only thing is that by default they already have a color. Assigned to them that can be mixed, you can take the color from your figure and continue mixing the clay. This is your base from which you will work. Let me show you mixing with other clay. This whole group works on the same principle, but adds different effects. You can use them before as well as after you finish your sculpting. Okay, the next brush allows you to add volume with a slight wet effect. Very suitable for creating muscles, for example. It also works on, like many brushes in the set, it works to both increase and decrease volume. Next brush quite universal, also has a customized effect. Ideal for quick sketching. Sometimes I start sketching quick shapes from it. Next brush. When I need to make smoother edges I use this brush. The brush responds very well to pressure and is a pleasure to work with. It's kind of like a cross between the two previous brushes. Next brush. It has sharper edges with irregularities plus a rough surface. It also works into modes. And it has a more pronounced wet surface effect. The next brush is one of my favorites. It has an interesting non-standard shape. Which it creates a cool volume for organic surfaces. I use this brush very often. The sub mode gives an artistic effect to your creation. Now let's take a look at one of the new brushes that I added in update to point 8. This brush is set to softly smooth and at volume. Here's how it works. So we have the next brush. The brush has a non-standard shape and is suitable for creating matte surfaces, clothes and more. It has a sharp edge and also helps create quick shapes. The next brush helps fill various holes and voids. If the surface is smooth, without holes, then brush simulates a lot of finger pressure. So the next brush. This brush was added relatively recently. It is ideal for sculpting small details, such as veins, hair, eyebrows, and more. Due to the accuracy and good ratio of pressure and size, you can easily add the details you need. Next brush allows you to simulate finger pressure. It's like you're crushing clay. The brush leaves realistic fingerprints and works smoothly. Also, the size and depth depends on the pressing force. The next brush works on a similar principle, but additionally it's realistic wet surfaces. Here's how it works. Looks cool, I use this brush often. It helps to accentuate the zones on my sculpt, and gives it realism. You can also combine these brushes to create a dry or wet effect. Next group of tools, these are knives. The principle is the same, but the effects are different. They are effective for cutting planes. You can get very interesting planes without a trim tool. Just like in real life, the edges and surface are clearer and smoother. Here's an example of how another knife works. Each knife tool works differently. You choose for yourself which tool suits you best. For example, this knife may leave cut marks.
In the new update I added a tool, plastic knife. It is rougher and leaves marks of use on the surface, and it can also fill voids in the model. This is how it works. You can quickly get a rough basic shape and continue to improve it. If you have worked with clay in real life, then I think you understand the process well. The next group of tools are smoothers. This softener works more aggressively and allows you to quickly soften the surface and save you a lot of time. The next softener simulates softening, as if you were twisting the workpiece in your hands. Let's say we have deep wounds. As with real clay, twisting it in your hands will gradually soften the top layer. This is their fundamental difference. The next tool, stamp, which I added for convenience. So you don't need to search for the required alpha. You just immediately apply it to your model. I think everyone understands how to work with this. Spray tool allows you to add details, such as leather, at the finishing stage. Plus, it adds a wet surface, which looks very cool with a rough effect. This is what it looks like. The set also includes several crease tools. They work differently than the standard one, and thereby expand the ways they can be used. They also work into modes. They can be used to mark and highlight areas, such as lips or folds of clothing, and much more. The next tool I would like to pay attention to is the drag tool. In normal mode, we can pull the clay creating dents on the surface. In another mode, when dynamic topology is enabled, we can drag clay. In this mode, I can make a rough model or easily get the desired shape. When using this tool, you need to take into account the camera position because it depends on the camera in which direction the clay will be pulled. When using this tool, the grid of mesh may not be correct, even with a voxel remesh. But now this is not a problem since we can restore the mesh using a new quad remesher. Let's look at the next group, Rake. They work in different ways, I think it's better to look at their work using an example. These rakes take into account surface and evenness, and do not lay on top of it, which creates more realism in the work. The next rake is applied to the entire surface. Works in cases where you need to highlight an area with a texture. There are also softer rakes, they take into account the depth of pressure on the surface. There is also a mini plastic stick for leveling and smoothing surfaces. The next group, sticks for deep cutting in clay. Also used for quickly interacting with the clay surface, cutting holes or adding small details. I think the principle here is clear, and it's better to try it yourself. Ball sticks leave an appropriately realistic mark. 
There are several varieties that can be used to effectively work with large and small parts. There is also a stick ball that removes clay layer by layer. This is very convenient when creating, for example, pupils and of course other elements. Next, I wanted to show you the razor tool. Using a razor you can make very thin and precise cuts on the surface. There is also a rough metal brush that will create rough edges on your sculpt. In addition, it can fill in uneven areas and also adds a wet effect to your surface. The next tool on review is rough clay. Just like in real life, to create extra volume, we apply rough clay and then create the shape what we need. The logic of this pack is more artistic, and it is aimed at simulating real work with clay. But this does not mean that you are limited to creating only clay figures. In this regard, the tools are universal. You can also continue to change the color or other parameters. That is, this changes the approach to creating a figure, but the technical capabilities remain the same. Also in the new update, I added additional crease tools, which work with pressure differently, and they allow you to make folds quite quickly. I think you see the difference. Also a new clay brush has been added. For comparison, I will apply volume to the surface with two tools so you can see the difference. A new hair tool has also been added. It responds to pressure, resulting in very interesting lines. By combining this tool we can get excellent realistic surfaces. Well, the last brush in our selection allows you to quickly create shapes on surface. For example, you can use it to shape your hair, mustache, beard, clothing items, and more. Very convenient, and most importantly fast. You can also use this brush to simulate smearing clay with your fingers. Well, that's all. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.